Hello everyone, Vicki Crystal in here. So let's do our breath first. We're going to lock it in three times. Breathe in through your nose, in through your heart, into your sexual organs, into you, Gaia. Lock yourself there. Do this three times now. Again. Feel your energy of you right now. Feel yourself balance. Feel your roots connect. Feel your crown open. Feel you. I coordinate me. If you guys have watched my videos that I have put out um, over the last couple days, the one of uh, Message from Gaia, there's two different ones. I don't want to explain it fully of those experiences, but if you have not seen them, I highly potentially ask for you to watch them. It will explain a lot. So, in this journey, I did one more journey of shrooms. It was the last for a while. Man, this time in the journey of the shrooms, it was not like the last two times. I didn't go to the mothers. The mothers came to me in my home. They showed me my life of how I got to where I am right now. They showed me how I, things that I didn't even realize how I was attuning myself, not even realizing what I was doing. As they took me through many of my days, every night as I go to bed, I always listen to tones, hurts, or ohm. I play ohm in my house during the day. Well, they showed me that when I was playing them at night state, it was changing my surroundings. Because your surroundings hold the same frequency as you. So, whatever frequency you are at, as you wake, you wake to the same story. I was blown away. I was blown away. Those frequencies were changing my environment. And also, and you can feel this, um, all of it, feel all of it, feel all of it, feel all of it in your own beingness. Just allow yourself to even just breathe through this transmission. Because so much was given to me. When I do dishes, everything I do in my life, I bring ceremony to it. I just do it. Even when I first wake to the day, I bring ceremony to my day. I bring the fullest potential of whatever that day is to bring it to its fullest potential. So as I was doing this, I was setting my whole day for the whole day. I already knew this. Well, they were showing me when I was doing the dishes, when I put my hands in the water and I was doing dishes and I was thanking it for the abundance of the food that was brought forward for the celebration of being able to wash away, you know, the evidence of that and for the new celebration of what's going to take place on these, you know, plates and glasses of the next, you know, celebration of the food. And, um, and then I always allowed whatever came through me when I was bonding with the water to come through me. I did not realize what I was doing at those moments. I seen what I was doing at those moments. Literally, even as it was being, the stuff was going down the drain, I could see it being released. I could see it transmuting in my energetic field. It was so powerful for me. So, 
just by doing these things that I were doing, I was changing everything around me. I sage my house every day. That was changing everything. I tune into everything when I was placing my hands on the trees, on the earth, everything when I look upon the sun, the, the sky, the moon, all of that. I seen all of that. I seen it all, what I was doing at that moment. It was powerful. So then, um, uh, wow, and just feel this, just really feel this energy right now. So through that awareness of seeing what I was doing in my daytime, Ceremony is a law. It's a celebration of you. So in New Gaia, it's law. It's law. It's like the number one law. Is to be the celebration of you. And when I realized that, that I was doing that through my dishes, through vacuuming, that was powerful. I was sucking up all my crap. I, it was powerful. And then I could see my ground turn to flowers. And I had no recognition of this before. But it always just felt freer. So, when you're doing these things, bring your awareness to what you're doing. And I always stay in a state of meditation. I've always allowed myself just to allow what is happening. And, and allow myself to connect to my multiverse beingness that I am. And in that, I seen when I was having an orgasmic birth of my new reality. I seen what the orgasm does and how a woman rebirths. And then I also seen how I'm bringing forth the knowledge for all men of that rebirth for them. Because men will be able to rebirth in the physical not literally have a physical baby, but they will literally rebirth themselves in a physical way. And once you do and accomplish that rebirth of your physical you, then you are ready for your next spot. So they showed me the three sparks the three sparks are the celebration of you, the enlightenment of you, that you place there. I am the only igniter of this. I have checked in to the other two beings that are going to come forward. And Astron, who is the mother of all mothers on New Gaia, calls them the predecessors. And what that means is they will connect to me at my level. And then the ignition will happen. But it will happen at a different conscious level. Because I allow myself to be the multiverse being that I am. So, I am the only one that has the codes, the igniter, to new guy. It was set up that way. I've been going through my own process of that because the ego wants to get in the way. And I've been going through that own, my own process of that. I've even tried to wrap my mind around it. I've seen myself clearly how I did it. I see, and it's so, and I see my vision and everything, even my glasses, it, I've been noticing, I've been putting them down and I see it differently. And, um, uh, but I see everything straight on point straight to the point and it's almost undescribable I can't really describe it but it's a gift it's a gift for the knowledge as I seen myself I was holding my my place of seeing myself as who I am and I am a tree of knowledge in New Gaia but there are two of me the physical being here that is in the beginning of the bridge and then there is the being of me, of who I am, on the other side of the bridge, in New Gaia. They showed me lots of information 
the rainbow bridge is all our music, our love, our tones. It makes the rainbow bridge. It creates the merging of two worlds. Yeah. So in that experience, the queen bee came to me. In the queen bee came to me, also the king lion came to me. Feel these energies now. I The queen bee carries an intelligence and workers bring her the intelligence. In the king, the king stands there with the intelligence of himself of the queen bee of herself and the workers as they call them bring him the intelligence in the intelligence that is spread out from the queen bee through her workers is sprinkled upon every plant of this world then all the animals and beings, they eat these plants. It is also consumed in the water, for it is a conscious being also. And then the lion eats all animals. And full circle is made. All knowledge, knowledge, lock that in, knowledge is obtained that way. In New Gaia, the species of animals are all connected. There are new species that are here, that are coming forward, here and now. I, Astron, am here and present in this beloved channel as she has stepped aside. Allow yourself to breathe through this transition. I also, Arion, am here. We are all present here at this time. We have been, in a way, showing, but it is more of a knowing level, to this channel. She has became aware that I am her father, not with limitations not as you hold a father here on the earth plane and not one to be worshipped. I bring you your knowledge of you only. Astron is the same. You will connect with Astron as you are connecting with me, the mother and the father of this beloved being. It has always been this way. We bring the word father forward for that is in your knowing. That is an easy way to explain it to you. They are not to be worshipped in any way. When you are returning, to 
your authentic self. Many fathers and mothers will come together. She is working with three wise men. In her existence, she is seeing them in one way. She will learn always within all of you. Your wise men are coming for, for you. They will all be called by different names. They are part of you. As the keeper, we call her the keeper, and she will stumble in the body on some of these words, for she is acclimating that. She has allowed herself to be all that she is. In this paradigm of New Gaia, she is very present here. In New Gaia, you are all connected. Many beings are having a process about the numbers. The numbers that we are bringing forward would be the numbers of your pure heart and payment for your ticket in. The universe is made of numbers. You are part of that. Once you go into the purity of numbers, allow yourself to feel all numbers of you. There will be a resonance known only to you, to your intelligence of you. You cannot default on these numbers of you, for they are your curtain from the physical world into the non-physical world of you. It is all in placement of you, in your internness, in your beingness. This is not an external event. Many of you have created what you would call New Gaia here. But it is now time for you to create that which you have created on New Earth. You will meet with this beloved You will ignite into you, and each ignition brings forth a different code of you. Each ignition, which is a celebration, places you in a never another, another, another part of you. On the third ignition, you have fully embodied new Gaia in your present form of you. 
There is no bounds. There is no limitations. There is no ego. On the rainbow bridge that is being created is merging two worlds, one above the other. One is going into what we would call the sleep state, the regenerated state of self. There have been many beings that have been brought forward that this is the same as the Atlantis. It is not. For in the Atlantis, which is beloved channel, also channeled through, you portal into into earth. Everything is surfacing now. Everything in new Gaia. As the planet is aligning with yourself, you are also aligning with her. Two suns will come forward. The moon will change. Many will fear this. There is no fear here. We are showing you a new way. Right now, on the rainbow bridge, there is only two physical beings that stand here. Many will stand there soon. There is no other way. You have created this, this way. Many are seeing life die here on what you call old Gaia. It is not old. It is rebirthing. As we are rebirthing, she is all one. Many have said, that there are placements of stones and crystals into the center of Gaia. She is full of crystals through her beingness. She holds her place in the space of her. There is nothing there. You are returning to that, to the nothingness of you. Crystals are part of you. They are part of your experience. You are attaching yourself to them. But it is time for many to move to another being. You are not attaching yourself to anything that is here now. It is all to be created new in the new Gaia. You are doing it. You are physically doing it. In your interworld of you, it sparks into your spaceness of you, merges into the DNA of you, which is the matter of you, and then it reflects into your world. And you have created what you call heaven on earth. It has always been here. But it has been in the waiting for all to start matching in. As you are going through the transitions of each spark of you, 
much knowledge will come through you. Each holds a piece to the puzzle, here in Gaia, for we are all connected. There is not one missing part. You do not have doctors here on Gaia. We call them injustice. If you were to break your arm, let's say, they would adjust it back into place. You do have a technology here. It is not like you see here and now. You work from your knowing, from your own intelligence of all you are. You do not have jobs as you say here. You are being them. All share. All share everything they have. They do not hold themselves singularly in any way. The best way to it completely, completely in a way, in a way we are saying this in a way, or there is much that is taking place in this what we are bringing forward of movie, and that is the movie. Of Avatar. The love story of the man and the woman is you falling in love with you. You returning to the gifts of you. That man has held you bound by. In this movie it shows that everything is connected. Everything. Not one missing part. You're returning to what you would call barbaric. You're returning to your authenticness. You do not live in houses like you call now. You are part of Gaia, the mother. You are returning to that. And you will do it here so on the Rainbow Bridge. And once you have fully expression, expression, expression of yourself, which is nothing bound in it, nothing limited in it, just the expression of you, will come forward on the other side of the gate. see you created here and now. This beloved channel is being given gifts that no other can tell her predecessors come forward that other that has such a clarity to it. She is the connected to us her predecessor, which we will call that for now, has already been born and is a granddaughter of hers. It was birthed this way. This beloved channel will not speak this knowledge to her Granddaughter, she will allow her to have her own experience first. As you are returning to you, the celebration of you, we will show you away. In the entombments, they are the fast track. As you come forward to get yourself attuned into yourself, 
they will fast track you into the next spot. But you cannot get out of the way of yourself. You have to do the process. You have to accomplish. You. In you. How do you do that? First is the breath. Many are doing this. There are many teachers of this. There are many teachers that are taking you to you. Many teachers, not just beloved children. Many are ready to take their first spark. Many, they are lining up. You are feeling this. You are ready. Once the ego is out of the way, it will be such a, a desire, we will say. that you cannot escape it. It will keep bringing you back to me. Yes, she is part of this. She is learning her new abilities. She is shifting and changing. In the allowance, in the trust of you, of believing something that is not there, is happening. We are with you always. Who is ready? Go into this readiness to receive their ticket. In of you. I be. Wow. Wow. My heart is so relieved right now. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Arianne. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Arianne. Thank you, Mother Gaia. Thank you, Mother Gaia. Thank you, Ashton. Oh, my God. Thank you, everyone. Thank me. Thank me. Thank me. When you thank you, you thank your universe. I thank me. I thank me. I thank me for allowing this to happen. I thank me. I thank me. I thank me. I thank me. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Do you feel that? As you are breathing into all of this that has been brought forward here today, um, and if you are ready, bring it forward. I will see you for where you stand. It is perfect without judgment. So, wow, I just feel like, whew, wow, um, wow. One thing that they are saying to me right now is when you are eating something, whatever it is, what knowledge is it bringing forth? Or even when you're drinking, what knowledge is it bringing forth? If there is no knowledge there, don't eat it. Because you're, it's just emptiness. So then your body's got to process it. Your knowledge is in your gut. We are going from our gut. Everything works as one system. So you eat it, you feel it, and then the knowledge comes to you. You become it. You become that knowledge. So when you are eating something, bring that forward. Bring that forward. It's very powerful. I send love to all of you. May you all, all be blessed. Have an amazing day.